Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to another Q&A video. So today we're going to be answering a question that I get quite often and that is how do I deal with the humidity down in the fish room here with about 500 gallons worth of water, the 3D printers and the other electronics and kind of all the stuff going on uh, down here. So uh, before I answer the question, I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour of kind of everything that we have going on and then uh, we'll go through answering the question. So we have the 300 gallon reef here, the geo sump which is a little high in the water level. I, I might have might have left the ATO on and kind of went, you know, and did other things and came back and it was overflowed. Possibly. I mean, I'm, you know, that might have happened. Maybe. Anyways, and then we have the tub here, which is about 120-ish gallons of water. And then we have two low boys, which are about 100 gallons worth of water between them. And yes, the other five XR15s are dead. I got to fix those. But either way, I don't really have any coral in there. So... That's it for about water in here, roughly 500-ish gallons. And then we have the printer section here, uh, which is 22 printers. Most of the time, I usually have one or two down that need to be fixed because that's just how it is with them running 24-7. There's always one that needs to be fixed. So either way, we have the printers here, and they're in their own enclosed-ish kind of environment, which I have exhaust fans too, which helps suck out all the um, toxic fumes and all that stuff with 3D printing. And uh, other than that, we have some storage here, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So a lot of stuff going on down here in the fish room, but you know, it is it is part of a uh, part of the business. So with that said, when it comes to removing the the uh, the humidity here, um, I like to keep it at about 50-ish percent humidity. So we're at 48 right now. Um, I just added a new dehumidifier, which I'll show you guys in a second. So between 45 and 55 is pretty common down here all year long, depending on. Uh, kind of August is pretty rough. I know August is really hot here in Pennsylvania, but as long as I keep the AC at between um, 72 and 74, uh, it stays pretty consistent down here. So the first thing I like to do is add exhaust fans. So I did add this one here. I don't remember the cubic feet per minute. It's pretty decent. It's about $200 for this unit. And I went ahead and plumbed some of this four inch PVC all the way down, which then I pumped this air out of the door, which I'll show you guys in a second. So I had this one over here kind of where the water is and it just helps remove some of the uh some of the moisture from the room and again this runs 24 hours a day seven days a week so i got one here and then i went ahead and again i as i mentioned before i have these other exhaust fans that are in the uh the printer area so hopefully you guys can see these pretty decent four inch outlets i'll try to find a link but i got them on amazon and of course the vent is right here all right hopefully you guys can see that but either way, uh, again, these run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And then I have one over here, all right? And then all that stuff gets pumped out the door, which I have uh, I have a door on standby. So when I leave my townhouse, I'm gonna replace this door. But uh, yeah, I needed to find a way to get the air out. So I decided just to punch some holes through a storm door. Uh, it sent me back about 600 bucks, but you know, priorities, right? So either way, there is a ton of air being pumped out of this room every minute i would say approximately a thousand if not more um i think i think it's cfm cubic feet per minute i believe that's the term but with that said you know this air is being pulled out through the bottom all the way up through taking the fumes out of the fish room or out of the print area of course taking moisture out of the room so we have about a thousand ish cubic feet per minute of air being pumped out i do have two ac vents through my havoc system so my ac system does pump fresh air down here all the time which is really nice and then on top of that, I do have a brand new um, 300, or sorry, 3,000 square foot uh, dehumidifier, which I just picked up, which is plumbed to go outside and it just drains out the back so I never have to empty it. And uh, it is set to comfort, which basically keeps it, uh, depending on the temperature here, keeps it between uh, 45 and 55% humidity. And this thing is really nice, well worth the uh, the price. I'll try to find some uh, links and put them on the in the description for you. So. Between the dehumidifier, which again, 3,000 square feet, there's, just, there's not 3,000 square feet down here. So between that and then the three exhaust fans and the AC being pumped down here, it stays really, really nice. It's actually nicer down here than it is upstairs. And um, even with the chiller that kicks on, still pretty, pretty nice down here and comfortable. Now, you might be asking, why do I put so much into making sure the humidity stays good? Well, for one, I spend a lot of time down here. I need to be comfortable. If it's kind of sticky and nasty and my balls are sticking to my legs, it's just not comfortable and I don't want to be down here. And if this is where I primarily am all day and I need to work and I need to make money, if I'm not comfortable, it just it's just not fun, okay? So 
Uh, that's one of the main reasons. The second reason is that I just don't want any mold issues. Uh, with 500 gallons of water, this is a townhouse. You know, I just don't want to have issues with mold. I don't want to deal with that. I have kids. I have, I live in this environment, so I need to make sure that it stays mold-free and it stays nice and clean and just it's a good environment to be in. So. Those are really the only two reasons, and uh, primarily the first one. I need I need to be comfortable. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Both of them are both of them are very valid reasons. But uh, yeah, so having the exhaust fans made a huge difference. I do know that this one alone was a massive difference, especially just in this area. Uh, so really glad that I installed that. And then of course, with the 3D printers having the additional ones is always good. So yeah, that's about it. Not bad. Five minutes long. I guess that's a decent time. Um, I guess I give you guys a little bit of update while I'm rambling here. Um, I decided to turn my uh, coral cutting bench into my 3D printer fixing bench, uh, mainly because I don't want to. I'm trying to separate my living environment from my work environment. I used to fix these upstairs and kind of just hang around, watch TV, and do everything. But I decided to move it down here and just kind of take care of everything and just have all my equipment ready to go. Like this one just needs a new fan. I mean, little stuff like that just gets burned out over time. Um, yeah. Also got to try out some new hot ends, having some issues. Even with the all metal hot ends, I'm still having leaking issues. The Micro Swiss, it's leaking issues. So I got to figure out something, man. I, I mean, really, the only issue I'm having with these these printers is the hot ends. Um, but I am upgrading to Prusa's, but that still leaves me 22 enders that are, uh, you know, they are what they are at this point. But either way, it's about it. It's about it. Everything's looking good. Phone's about to die. And uh, yeah. Anyways. I will, uh, gonna pack these orders here. Those are going out today. And if you want to support the channel, head over to fishofhex.com. Pretty caught up on 3D printing, not gonna lie. I'm only like 50 orders in a hole, which is pretty good. It's actually really good. Usually I'm like 150, so really happy about that. If you want to support the channel, head over to fishofhex.com. It's buy three, get one free. So just add four 3D printed items to your order. And I added a whole bunch of WYSIWYG to the website. It's been a long time since I added that, but I've added a bunch of that. And, uh, yeah, I know times are tough. Gas prices are high, but I still appreciate everybody who's out there uh, supporting the channel. I really, really do. So with that said, I will see you guys later. All right, peace.